Hello and welcome to your fourth Unity 3D Bricks game tutorial series. Now, as of now, our game looks pretty good. The ball is bouncing and everything is good. Now, in this video, we're gonna create the bricks. So, let's go and create the bricks and we're also gonna script them so that uh, they can act accordingly. So, first of all, create 3D object quad. So, we're gonna create a quad and let's rename it brick. Okay. So it's brick. Now let's scale it according to how we want our brick to look like. You can scale it accordingly. Uh, I think this will be pretty fine. Yeah, this will be pretty fine. So let's make it a prefab. A prefab basically means a game object that we can reuse again and again. So whenever we want to reuse something, we want to reuse the bricks here. So we want to make it a prefab. So from here, create a uh, uh, create a prefab and name it brick okay now drag and drop the brick onto the prefab brick here so as you can see it has turned blue that basically means that the brick is now a prefab you can delete it from here now uh, to the brick from the brick we just go and remove the mesh collider okay so from here just remove the mesh collider now we want to attach a box collider 2d to it so click on add component physics 2d box collider 2d now a box collider 2d is attached to it now uh, let's go and add a script to the brick okay let's go add new script brick bricks okay name it bricks now create an add and uh, let's open the bricks script so in the bricks script what you want is whenever we whenever the bricks collide with the ball we want the bricks to be destroyed okay whenever the bricks collide with the ball we want the bricks to be destroyed so first of all uh, we want to do everything inside a function named on collision enter 2d okay so write void on collision enter 2d so on collision enter 2d basically means whenever the object enters into any collision this function gets called okay and in the parameter we have to write collision call or you can name it forever now if call dot game object game object dot tag equals ball we want we want uh, destroy game object okay so pretty much what we want here is whenever the collision occurs and the collision that game object or tag equals ball that means if the collision occurs with a game object which has which has a ball tag attached to it that is the ball we want destroy the game object the game object means here the bricks okay since the script is attached to the bricks so first of all we have to add a tag to the ball ball so let's go and add a tag to the ball so click on the ball from here click on tag add tag name it ball now again ball untagged ball now we have tagged the ball as ball now let's go and add uh, add our brick to the environment let's put it here I'll duplicate it and make it a couple of bricks here. So let's scatter those bricks here and there. Uh, you can also make a couple of those. I'm just making only a few. In this video, I'm just just testing. This is for just for testing. Okay. Oops, here's uh, error. I guess I don't know why that is. 
value or method type or variable method uh, I think it will, should be destroy game object okay uh, error should have gone mm, I think now let's run it oops the bricks are not getting destroyed I know what is happening uh, let's take a look at the script script error on collision to enter into 2D. Uh, oh yes, I have made a mistake here. Since it is 2D, so here it will not be collision, it will be collision 2D. Oh, so make it collision 2D. Now our game should work. So come here and let's run it. Now when the ball touches the bricks, yeah, they get destroyed. So the bricks get destroyed and yeah. We have pretty much made the game mechanics. So in this video we have just set up the bigs. In the next video we'll make it look pretty. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll meet you next video.